Uh, may you start the video, please? Thank you. It's frightening, we know, and that's exactly why we chose Dave Gallo's challenge to create a social movement within our schools and within our communities to raise awareness of how we all impact the ocean on a daily basis. We are Ocean Lost. Ocean LA is an organization that we created together to call people to action, to organize with others in their community, to change their daily behavior, engage themselves in our Ocean LA movement, and to most importantly, act now, because every action that we take has a significant impact on the ocean no matter where we are. When we went out to our own communities to survey them, we found that, as you can see, over 50% feel that they have little to no impact on the ocean. So the fundamental problem that we're facing today is that people lack a connection to the ocean. Those who are aware of their faulty behavior want to change, but they're not sure how. And that's when Ocean LA steps in. So we met together as students from all over Los Angeles and set four goals for ourselves. First, we want to create a consciousness within some of our inner sea communities, informing them on ways that they could combat the problems of ocean pollution. Next, we want to create long-lasting and sustainable partnerships with different businesses and organizations within our communities. Thirdly, we want to engage our youth because we believe the children are future. And lastly, we want to hit people where they spend the majority of their time, the internet. So the first step for Ocean LA was to create a logo that represents us. As inner city kids, we wanted our logo to be urban. But at the same time, we wanted our message to come across, which is that we want to bring the ocean back to the city. You don't need the ocean in your backyard to make an impact. But we're trying to come across, trying to bring that message across, we came up with one question. How can we hit our community like a wave? And the answer to that very question is language. We looked at our own team. We have Julissa who speaks Spanish. Hola. We have Katie who speaks Mandarin. We have Janelle who speaks Tagalog. And of course, we have the fro who speaks English. What's up? So we, use, so we use these skills to create material that can be brought into our communities that, we're, that other ocean organizations can never tap into because they face the language barrier. So another issue we came across was how do we stand out from other ocean organizations? Well, the answer to that is with social media and popular culture. People already know that cigarette butts and plastic trash bags are harmful for the ocean. So we use this information in a creative and eye-catching way. But to do this, we put our own little twist to these iconic movie posters, recognizable to almost everybody. Instead of finding Nemo, you're going to find oil. Not only from oil spills, but from the careless disposal of motor oil as well. People don't understand that this urban runoff is dangerous and harmful for the ocean. These posters have helped engage our community in the first steps of the Ocean LA movement. Not, not to mention that they've also increased our popularity because you know, people like the images represented on these posters, and they're also on your tables too. And this is the beginning of the Ocean LA movement. All right, so seeing that we wouldn't be able to reach out every single person within our community and beyond that, we started a social media movement. We created an online community where people could interact and become informed through our organization. We created an Instagram which now has more than 900 followers, a Facebook page with more than 1,300 subscribers, 10,000 alone engaging each week, to which we send out our informative um, in and engaging YouTube videos like the one you just saw in the beginning, uh, our posters that Abel just mentioned, our interactive and engaging articles that we send out daily to remind people how they impact the ocean, and our very own music. We didn't only get likes or followers, but we created an interactive um, community online. 
people started coming to us with things that they wanted to get reached across. And we did that with like an Instagram challenge that we did. We encouraged students to come to, to we, we encouraged students to, uh, to <laughs> we encouraged students to come to us to, to uh, say their messages that they wanted to say through our organization. So adding on to our social media movement, Ocean LA set out to build a grassroots movement. And what we mean by that is that we wanted to get our community involved as soon as possible. However, we didn't just want to go to them and lecture them about all the things that they were doing wrong. Instead, we wanted to encourage them and let them know how important it was for us to create long-lasting relationships and partnerships with them. So as students from all over Los Angeles, we realized that we were the experts. We were the ones that were already connected to and interacting with many of the businesses and organizations that would help us spread the word about Ocean LA. As Julissa mentioned, we believe in a grassroots movement, which means we want to create long-lasting and meaningful relationships with individuals. In doing so, we would face obstacles. For example, I met this man at a local park who only spoke Spanish, so I said something like, impacto importante en el oceano, saying that we have an important impact on the ocean. And at the end of our conversation, he was really glad that a group of students, Ocean LA, was making a difference in our community. As both Chanel and Julissa just mentioned, we understand that we are the future leaders of our community, and we know that we need change, so we need to create it, and the, and the only way to do that is to go out to our community. Here we have Katie and Francisco who went to the Echo Park Neighborhood Council meeting, where they were able to speak to representatives of the Echo Park neighborhood and tell them what Ocean Lee was all about. We also went out to the Airplane Rec Center Festival in Chinatown and talked to children and bonded over the ocean. We also spread our message to the LA Marathon, even talking to the former LA mayor. And I know it might be amazing that a, bu a bunch of high school kids were able to speak to the mayor, but this was not the highlight of our day at the LA Marathon. The highlight of our day was the fact that our fro was on TV. Hello, I am the fro. Before we reach out to the community, we wanted to bring awareness to our school campus. In downtown Magnus, we got students from all over Los Angeles, like South Central and Chinatown. And by spreading the message to them first, they can spread a message to their own communities, whether it's just by telling their parents or to their clubs and organizations. So by doing so, we call sparks on our own school events. So we did the wave in our spring fling dance, and we had a celebration of live music and performances in our Ocean Fest talent show, where we spread the message to over 1,000 students in our school. But it gets better, folks. Not only did we got the students' attention, we also got the parents' attention as well. Like Jen stated, language was the key to reach out to an audience that's difficult to reach. In our case, we knew that many of the students' parents could hardly speak or read English. So what we did was that we translated all the materials and resources into the language that they could speak so they could understand our material. For example, we set up booths at two high school events, one at the Health Awareness Festival and one at Parent Night. And by doing so, we distributed the materials to the parents and they were so amazed that we were starting this movement and they even asked us to join our movement. So a key aspect of Ocean LA was to reach out to local businesses and organizations in our community. With their support, we'll allow our community to get involved, be aware, and spread our word. Every street and corner a business stands on, they could be a making difference right in front of their eyes. Whether it's displaying our post in front of their storefronts to having a conversation about our movement, every way of support counts. So throughout our journey, we went to communities closest to us, such as downtown, Chinatown, and South Central. And now we've reached to further areas such as San Gabriel and Pasadena. Also, we have built partnership with over 31 businesses that have supported our cause. So to provide materials to our supporters, we developed our own Ocean LA gear. Here we are, we are wearing our own design t-shirt that people can wear to show their support and involvement with Ocean LA. In addition, we designed a reusable bag that people can take to stores and markets as an alternative to plastic bags. So as a too passionate about this. <laughs> so, as, so as Shannon mentioned, reaching out to a younger gen generation was a key thing to prevent future harmful behavior. So instead of you know, giving them boring lectures or PowerPoints about the ocean, we, we created a coloring book that corresponded with a story and a message that we wanted to tell to the children. It was both fun and interactive for the kid. 
So we went out to various elementary schools of various grade levels. One is Pacoima Elementary School. The teacher read our story to the kids, and the kids easily understood our message as they colored through the story of Tammy the Turtle. And as you can see in the photo, we got amazing feedback. So the question that you might be asking yourself now is, how are we going to keep this movement growing? How do we keep spreading Ocean LA? Well, our work has allowed us to get to the point where people ranging from DMHS alumni to organization leaders are now coming to us wanting to work with and join forces with Ocean LA. With their help, we can continue to spread this organization throughout our city and even beyond it. An example of this very sustainability is when we were invited to talk and host a cleanup at the Echo Park Art Walk. Now this Echo Park cleanup was three hours down Echo Park Avenue, and then we later called it Hipster Avenue. Now I know that it might not sound fun to spend three hours cleaning the streets of Echo Park under the hot Californian sun, but this day was actually fun and amazing. I mean, I don't get many chances to laugh at, Jan at Janelle as she picks up a very, very, very used diaper. This, this event helped us build and structure our own inner city cleanup that occurred May 17th. We targeted three areas. Our three teams were downtown LA, Echo Park, and Chinatown. Our three teams consisted of students that were from our own school that we armed with trash bags, gloves, and motivation to go out and start the change by cleaning up our streets. Early, I know we understand that we are an ocean organization and that when people hear ocean, they, they, they directly think beach cleanup. But early on, we realized that the source of the problem is not at the beach, but rather in the city. So by going into our cities and cleaning up our city streets, we're preventing our, our ocean waters from, getting, from worsening. Now, we have gone out to our community, but not, not only have we gone out to our community, but we have empowered them. We will not only have cleaner streets, but we will have pride for taking a stance against ocean pollution. It's impressive, I know. I know you want to join us now. Well, luckily, it's very easy to join the ocean movement. You can like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, or send us some emails, or donations if you want to help sponsor some of our events. As Shannon stated, there are so many ways that you can get involved. We're not limited to the LA County, and the possibilities are endless. We are Ocean LA. You are Ocean Aspen, Ocean New York, Ocean DC. And many individuals have now joined us in our ocean movement, and we have all taken the pledge for change. Now it's your turn. Hey, you played the second video, please. Thank you. Oh, King Jeffrey. I, Diego. I, Ellen McAllister. Prometo. Pledge to organize. Organize. Umargas, prometo. Organizarme con mi comunidad. Organize with people in my community. Change. Change. Change my daily behavior. Engage. 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 Upang makitaguyod sa pinisang Ocean LA. Engage myself in the Ocean LA movement. And most importantly. And most importantly, act now. Act now. Act now. Before it's too late. Will you take the pledge? Organize. Change. Engage. Act now. Oh. Oh.